and giggle. And a bus ride only used to cost a dime. Watch a look. Them days can be forgotten. The world has gotten rotten. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Every day is getting tougher. And it keeps on getting rougher. A dollar isn't even worth a half a buck. Lots of luck. 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 Hey, Stan. What? Look at here in the paper. It says, if the fuel crisis continues, people will have to give up using their cars and start using horses again. No kidding. Yeah. That'll be a blessing in disguise. Take all that pollution out of the air. Yeah. <laughs> Put it back in the street. <laughs> Hey, Bummy, did you see in the company magazine the announcement of the annual talent show? It's hard to believe it's a year already since we lost. Oh, well, it is. Oh, look, 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 look who's entering. Look, coming out of retirement, Pop Gumpers and his magic violin. Air from maintenance, Herman and the four mufflers doing songs from the 50s. Uh, Chuck the change guesser. Who? He's a bus driver, Chuck Sucker. Y you throw up a handful of change and he catches it in his mouth. Tells you the exact amount. No good. Yeah. Oh, of course, he's got to take his teeth out to do it. <laughs> What's the prize this year? Ho! Oh, wait till you hear. Look, the first prize is a week for two at Pearlman's Poinciana Palms in Miami. That's only nine blocks from the beach. <laughs> and you get a choice of breakfast or handball. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stan, can you picture us at Miami Beach? No, not unless we practice. <laughs> oh, hey, right. Hey, I got my harmonica. You want to rehearse the act? Now? Yeah. Yeah, go. <laughs> go ahead. What's the matter? That sounds wrong. That's a piece of pimento for my sandwich. Oh, get that out. <laughs> Here, go ahead. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ladies hey. and gentlemen, the comedy and music of Fitzer and Belmont singing and gagging their way into your hearts. Hit a pizza. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Way down upon the sea. Hey, was it hot today? Yeah, how hot was it? It was so hot, my brown cow gave me cocoa. <laughs> okay, stay in the sports Okay, okay, my first mistake. It's been a year, hasn't it? And all the way in. And you go. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, hey. What are you rehearsing? I got the talent show locked up. Ta-da! Ta-da! Where's the rest of the bus, Kaplan? <laughs> this little baby happens to be the new Kaplan special. I thought you had whiplash. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very funny, very funny. But this happens to be a tool from a snow tire. And with this new mouthpiece here, I can reach four actors. Watch this. <laughs> You're really going all the way, ain't you, Kaplan? Yeah, I'm really going all the way, and for a very good reason. When you guys happen to know Rini Muldoon, the dispatcher from emergency road service? Oh, yeah. Last Valentine's Day, she was voted the girl with the biggest heart in the bus company. <laughs> <laughs> what about her, Kaplan? What about her? Well, Rini has let it be known that she would like to visit her aunt in Florida. Her aunt? Yeah, provided, of course, she can get the plane ticket. No kidding. Yeah, you imagine it? Sunshine, palm trees, and that girl with the big heart. Why don't you guys uh, just think about me and weep? Hey, hey. Okay, let me tell you something. While you keep blowing in that thing, you know what you're going to do? You're going to end up in Florida with a hernia. Hey, Stan, think of that. A week in Miami with Rainy Muldoon. What are you talking about? If we win, there's only two tickets. One for you, one for me. Where does Rainy Muldoon come in? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is right. Oh, what are you worried about? Florida is full of girls. You don't need Rainy Muldoon, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, hit it. All the world is... Hey, hey Stan. Stan, I wonder if our act really has a chance. Oh, what are you talking about? Of course it does. Well, we lost two years in a row. That was flukes, so many flukes. There was once to a guy juggling hubcaps. And the next year, it was a mechanic doing a tap dance on shock absorbers. <laughs> flukes. Stan, the reason we lost is because one half of his team sings off-key. <laughs> and 
Now, which half are you referring to, perchance? Same half that dances clumsy. <laughs> are you saying that I dance clumsy? I'm saying you got all the grace of Ed McMahon falling out of a bunk bed. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, that's so. I can do better on my own. Well, then go ahead. I, oh, I see. <laughs> I just got it. I just got it. You want both tickets, don't you? You would rather be in Florida with Reenie Muldoon than with me. Oh, admit it. Why don't you admit it? I admit it. So you admit it. <laughs> okay, bummy. And I finally realized how you got that name. Split up the act. See if I can smash you right in two. But you can't win without me. I can win, especially without you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get all new material. Jokes about meat prices, gas shortage, pollution, all that funny stuff. <laughs> I can beat you. you. Don't make me laugh, and you won't. You're looking at the winner, pal. Bobby Fitz in a one-man band, playing a harmonica and a banjo at the same time. Ah, uh, go ahead, and while you're in New York freezing off your tailpipe, I'll be in Florida <laughs> burying Rini Muldoon in the sand. Well, you better bury yourself before she sees you in a bathing suit. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Fitzer. If you ain't lost something or found something, go drive a bus. Straight to Florida. Go suck an egg. <laughs> friends you ever had and for what a girl with a beautiful body come to think of it that's as good a reason as any hey uh, 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 come on gather around gather around i'm gonna do my act for you i hope it's a better act than the one you did last year i was ashamed to say you as my brother-in-law don't be ashamed arthur I'll pay you not to say it. Uh, Stanley, what kind of act you gonna do? It's a comedy act, Ma. Jokes, insults. It's a combination of Henny Youngman and Don Rickles. Oh, that's good, Stanley. Because <laughs> you look like them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the comedy styling of Lost and Found's own Stanley Belmont. Let's hear it. Yay! Yippee! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know something, folks? I'm very depressed tonight. Because I was reading the obituary page. Ain't it funny how everybody dies in alphabetical order? <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, it's great being up here performing. We're lucky. Afterwards, all the contestants are getting together for a seven-course meal. A hamburger and a six-pack. <laughs> Gee, that stinks. <laughs> came from a gentleman in the first row. Tell me, sir, are those clothes you're wearing or are you modeling dirty laundry? <laughs> you know, uh, speaking about pollution, there's so much smog in the air, I shot an arrow into it and it got stuck. <laughs> and that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody dies in the alphabetical order. <laughs> Tell me, madam, what's that on your hair? Are those curlers or are you modeling sewer pipes? <laughs> that ain't a nice thing to say. Who oh, asked you, fat lady? <laughs> Damn it. what a way to talk to your mother. Ma, I'm not talking to my mother. I'm insulting a lady in the audience. Don Rickles says it all the time. That's his mother's problem. <laughs> Well, what am I going to do? i got to beat that rotten bummy. Oh, why didn't I think of it before? Stanley, we're forgetting the one thing you do best. What's he going to do? Go out on stage and gain weight? Oh, no, Arthur. His magic act. Look, it's all in the closet. Oh, my magic act. That's right. I'll do the very thing that made me the biggest star of PS 187. Oh, look, my, look, oh, look, my hat. And my, oh. and my wand and, and, and my book of magician talk. Stanley, who's going to be your assistant? My assistant? Yeah, well, you know, you need a girl to help you. Oh, geez, I never thought of that. Yeah. Could I do it? You? <laughs> great in a skimpy costume. This is just magic, not miracle. <laughs> no, listen, kid, you gotta be an employee of the company in order to be in the show. Honest. Jeez. Ho. Ho, I just found out who's gonna be my assistant. Oh, who are you gonna get, Stanley? Some tramp? <laughs> no, ma. No tramp. 
it happens that at the company there's a very beautiful and refined girl who wants very badly to get to Florida to see her aunt. Aunt, I'll bet. <laughs> Arthur, why don't you go up to your room and hose down your bed? <laughs> okay, well. Uh-huh. Hello, lost and found, Belmont speaking. You lost what? A gasoline siphoning kit and a flashlight? No. No, it has not turned up. And let me tell you something, Harry. You're setting a very bad example for the other bus drivers. Yeah. Hi, family. Oh, uh, I'll talk to you later. Hi, Irene. How are you? I got a message you wanted to see me. Yeah, but till now, I didn't realize how much. <laughs> Hey, come on in. Oh, I've never been down here before. This is terrific. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hey, Reedy. Yeah? There's a rumor around that you're looking for a plane ticket to Florida. Well, how'd that get around? I only told six people. Hey, good news travels fast. <laughs> hey, Reedy. Uh, oh. Reedy, one of the surest ways of you getting your plane ticket to Florida is for you to be part of the winning act. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the winning act is going to be the magnificent Mr. Magic, me. So how about being my assistant in the Magic Act? Me, a magician's assistant? Sure. Well, what would I do? Oh, it don't matter, because the judges are all married men. Oh, Stanley, if I could get to Florida, that would make my aunt so happy. You know, she hasn't seen me since I was a little girl. She got quite a surprise coming. <laughs> You know, if we're going to do the magic act, you're going to have to rehearse with me quite a bit. Oh, I don't mind. But listen, are you really a good magician? Oh, are you kidding? Here, walk at that. See that? Here it is, okay? And it's gone. One, two. No hands. Watch this. Hey! Ace of hearts. Charlie, that's terrific! Yeah, so how about it? You want to do it? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, terrific! But listen, remember, I got to warn you, I don't have no show business experience. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. All you got to do is stand there and be beautiful and try not to fall He's going to be very hard to beat, unless he gets a flat. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, kid. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm really nervous, and I... <laughs> oh, jeez. That's... Whoa, 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 right in now. Hey, kid, how do I look? Oh, wow, you look terrific. You're going to be my best trick. <laughs> my mother made this costume. Don't let your father see you. <laughs> so there you are, you fink. And there you are. Right from the pizza palace. Oh, yeah. You decided to play dirty, huh? Trying to grab the crowd with sex. That's right. And Weenie here is going to help, too. Listen, <laughs> Stan. Even with this cupcake here, you're going to lose. Come on, next. How are you out there? Hey, Fitz, you work to the right side of the room. The left side is death. Look. You know why? Well, you got a hole in your inner tube. You're spritzing them when you work. Mm. Yeah, Fitz, that's old Andy Kaplan there from maintenance. Playing the ever popular Saints go marching in on an inner tube. Which just goes to prove you can stretch a good thing too far. <laughs> along with our talent show, we'd like to introduce our next exciting act. He's a great singer in the world of transportation. One of our drivers from the Q5 route. Here he is, Mr. Bummy Fitzer. <laughs>
sleeping. So you can do better? Oh, get out of here before I make a costume disappear back to the Salvation Army. Well, moving right along, folks. And don't forget, immediately after showtime, it'll be buffet time in the gymnasium. And I'd like to assure you that the lingering aroma is from last night's basketball game and not the eats. <laughs> You know? <laughs> well, moving right along with our talent show, our next exciting act is the head of our lost and found department, Stanley Belmont, the magnificent Mr. Magic. And he's ably assisted by Princess Rini from Emergency Road Service. So as they say in show business, here's Mr. Magic. <laughs> Thank you for my next fabulous feat. <laughs> the magnificent Mr. Magic will open one of the greatest tricks of all time, including the past and the present. Hey, hey! Oh. Oh, I'm glad you like my equipment. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Ronnie. Okay, okay. Hi, no Ronnie. talking, Princess. That's well. Okay. Now... Uh, let me start. That's fine. Oh, fine. Let me just dust off the princess a minute. Here you go. Dusting her off. And let me just dust her off with this one. Hey, hey, hey. Let me dust her off with it. Oh, red and green. Here you go. Hey, hey. Okay. Thank you. Now, look at this. This is an empty hat. Okay. Okay, princess. Thank you. That's Because he didn't want it anymore. Hey, look at that. Ain't that something? Thank you very much, Ed. Oh. Hey, we really pulled that one off. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay. Now, the princess is going to show you how empty this cloth is. Show them how empty it's the cloth empty. is. No talking. Okay. Here you go. A little magic dust, please. One, two, three. Here's our bird in the dust. Picture. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an ordinary piece of paper, and I'm making it into a cone. Let's see how much it can hold. Okay. Speaking of milk, it was so hot yesterday, my brown cow gave me cocoa. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oh, there. Oh, it's a little tripping. I have to be careful. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Have to be careful. Okay, it's all filled up. How about a little uh, magic dust? One, two, and it's gone. Hey! so bashful. Hey, hey. Oh, take him out. Take him out. Thank you, princess. Isn't she wonderful? Let's give the lady a little hand. Oh, ho. Hey, hey. And now, thank you. Okay, princess. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, this hat is empty. It's, it's empty. Okay, no talking, princess. Cover the hat, please. And a little magic dust. And that's beautiful. Take the dust off. And here we go. This is a magic spoon. Now I put it back in the hat. Cover it up, please. And now I just want to tell you one thing. Okay, it's okay, princess. It's all right. Now, it's all right. Where do you want No, I don't want it. Oh, and it's okay. That's all right. No, I don't want it. Oh, that's all right. Okay. You win some, you lose some. All right. Now I'd like to do another trip for you. A new trip for you. This is the Egyptian escape trick. Now, I'm going to go in the box, but before that, Princess Rini is going to find me. <laughs> and as no human being has ever been bound. Okay, now please notice that I'm being bound head to foot to mouth. All around. And, and Houdini, Houdini used to do this trick uh, when he was young. <laughs> Okay, now the princess is... I'm, I'm a little dizzy, but all right. The princess is going to tie the knot like we talked, and it's fine. And just, that's fine. Okay, now 
She's gonna gag me so I cannot fight the ropes. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, uh huh. I am going to be a little in Delhi Isle. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, I'm going to close the door, and in 10 seconds, I will open the door, and Mr. Magic will be gone, and you will see him walking down that aisle. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, Rini, what kind of knot did you tie? Gee, the one we use in emergency road service to tow the buses. <laughs> I told you, a slip knot. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee, how dumb can I get? Only time will tell. Attention, ladies and gentlemen and bus drivers. I'm about to announce the winner. Actually, we have two winners. It was sort of a split decision. <laughs> But the winner for her exciting dancing is Miss Rennie Muldoon. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. And our second winner is Mr. Music himself. Congratulations, Mommy. Nice to you. Yeah. Here he is, folks, Mr. Ernie Kaplan. to be the goof at Rini in Florida. Ah, never mind, Stan. Fitzer and Belmont will win next year. Yeah. Besides, I hear down in Florida, the weather's very unpredictable. Yeah, it's always warm in the wintertime. <laughs> Come on. Let's go get some eats. Yeah, to get salmon croquettes and chocolate pudding. Oh, it's going to be all gone. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> 